Hey, our friends, we're drawing one more character from Frozen. Who are we drawing? Olaf. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to draw a cartoon version of him. The best character he, in Frozen. He is the best character. My yeah. favorite character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you got a marker and some paper and you're going to follow along with us. All right, let's draw his eyes first. We're going to draw two circles and we're going to draw them kind of big. Right next to each other. There we go. About that size. And I drew him towards the top so that we have room for his body. Cool. Now on the top right, let's draw a smaller circle on both eyes. And then an even smaller circle down here on the bottom left. Did I say bottom left or did I say top left? I don't know. Top right for the first one, bottom left for the second one. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's color in the big one and leave those two smaller ones white. Now we're going to draw another circle around each of these. So we're going to draw it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then another one over here on the side. Oh, and this one's even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay if we make mistakes because we're practicing, right? Yeah. And the most important thing is? To have food. Yeah, to have fun. Okay, now we're going to draw his carrot. We're going to draw a sideways V. Yes. Then on the left side, we're going to connect the top down to the bottom with a C shape. There's his carrot nose. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to draw the top of his head. And we're going to draw a rainbow line that goes over the top and back down. Yeah. Good. Okay, now we can draw his eyebrows up here. Draw one on the left eye and one over the right eye. Now we're going to draw a smile, and I'm just going to draw a big smile that goes over from one side over to the other. And then we can even draw his little cheek lines on each side. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of his head. We're going to draw a, a curve that comes down like this. And then we're going to repeat that same shape over here on this side. Oh, and I got a little bit bigger on that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his tooth right in the middle, right below his, his little carrot. Then we're going to draw his mouth open so he looks really happy. We're going to draw a big U. Now it's starting to look like Olaf, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then down here, we're going to connect those two lines for his neck. Now let's draw the sticks coming out of his head. We're going to draw one stick. That's the big tall one in the middle. Then we're going to draw another one coming out. This one's shorter. And then we're going to draw another curve coming out the side. Now we're going to repeat that over here. Short stick and then a curve coming out the side. Yeah, there we go. It kind of looks like his hair, right? Yeah. Now we're all done with his face. Let's draw his body. We're going to draw a big curve that comes around and back up. Looks like a marshmallow. Yeah. Then we're going to draw another one that's even bigger down here for the bottom of his body. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to draw his feet and they're the same shape, just a lot smaller. One over here and then another one for his right leg. Okay. Now on his body, he has those little buttons. So let's draw one circle on the top part of his body and then two down here on the bottom part. Now let's color those in. All right, now let's draw his arms. We'll draw one arm coming out and then we can draw another, arm, another line right next to it so it's a little thicker and we can color that in. Okay, now we're going to draw his thumb coming out the side. And then we're going to draw three fingers. One, two, three. And you can color those in if you made them extra big. Okay, now let's repeat those steps over here for his other arm. We'll draw two lines. So he has a thick arm. You can color it in. Now let's draw his thumb 
and his three fingers. One, two, three. Now sometimes we fast forward the video, or we may even go too fast during a step. Yeah. And what can our friends do? If pause they, the video. Yeah, if you guys need extra time, pause the video. All right, dude, we finished Olaf, and he looks really cool. Yeah. Except we need to color him. He's going to look even better once we color him. Now we use our oil pastels to color him, and we used orange for his carrot, and then dark blue for his mouth. Then we used light blue to go around the outside of Olaf, and we used our white to smooth out the texture so it looks really soft. Yes, you can pause the video right now to match the same color. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing Olaf. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's not important that your drawings look exactly like ours, because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Food. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Hey you guys, if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. You can also click the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I've also picked out these other lessons I thought you'd enjoy. And one last thing, parents and teachers, be sure to share your child's finished drawing on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to see how awesome it turned out.